Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Have you ever heard the expression, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over, the same way over and over and over, expecting different results. Right. Well, that's what we do, <laughs> especially in relationships. <laughs> Sometimes God wants to clarify things through hindsight, and they say hindsight is 2020, as in 2020 vision, for some of you who, who have never heard that expression. So what I want to share with you is there are relationships, and I had a dream this just this last night, and I believe I'm supposed to deal with it. As I talk, it's coming stronger. So I'm going to deal with this. Relationships of the past. Some of you who have been in relationships that fell through because the person did you wrong. Fell through because you were either lied to, played like a fiddle, or used and manipulated. And then once the thing was accomplished, the goal was accomplished from the other end. They dumped you like a hot potato. Or once you broke up with them, they dismissed you out of their life as if you were a dead person, never to return. So my point is sometimes when you are alone, when you are single, in between relationships, in between marriages, <clears throat> Or your spouse has passed away, divorced you, left you for another, whatever. You're alone. Well, then Satan starts manipulating traps and snares. Especially if you have a calling on your life. You have to be exceptionally careful. Especially if you have kids who have a calling on their lives. You have to be exceptionally careful who you allow into your sphere of influence because when you allow just anybody in you can be opening the door for Satan to destroy your children's lives you can be opening the door for Satan to with your permission bring to naught your assignment your destiny your giftings and callings because he will keep you so busy, tied up, and wrapped up in confusion, chaos, and mess. That you, your giftings and your callings will never get off the ground. He'll keep you so tied up in distractions. And emotional drama. So, be very careful. In spite of your need for someone to put their arms around you. In spite of your need for the softness of someone's body next to yours, you may need to opt to be alone because if those people from the past start weaseling into your life, start making contact, trust me, it will happen right at the time when you wish you had somebody to lay next to. It will happen at the height of that need, the height of that desire. So be very careful. Be very wary of what's going on. Okay, I'm not saying weary. I'm saying wary. W-A-R-Y. Be very, be very keen. Be very watchful. Be cautious. See, Satan lurks about. Seeking whom he may devour, not will devour, not can devour, who he may devour, which means you have to give him permission to devour. And one way that we give him permission to devour is by allowing some people into our lives that we know good and well don't need to be there. I don't care how enamored we may have been. 
we have to keep the door locked. They ring the doorbell, don't answer. They call your number, you find out it's them, gots to go. Bye. And when you see that number come up again, ignore it. In the name of Jesus, pray against it, rebuke it. Ask God to send his angels to stop that person from pursuing you while you're strong enough to say no. God bless you.